All right, all set up, ready to go for Q&A number 56. 58. Oh, <laughs> around, around there somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, this first one's from Bonnie Barber. That temple sure is beautiful. Do you know what it's, uh, when it was built? And she's talking about the Ochre Temple, because it's by the Ochre Mountains here in Utah, so yeah. they called it Ochre. And it was finished in on August 21st, 2009. And um, then uh, she... Do they get two questions in one? Uh-huh. They can ask as many questions oh. as they want. <laughs> we don't have any rules. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> and in that picture of Judy and Jane, who or what is the the boob and the brave? All I see is the dog. And um, <clears throat> it's a cute picture that we have. They're, they're the twins, Judy and Jane. They're my twin sisters. And um, Judy, we nicknamed it the boob and the brave because... Judy was always was is sitting on the ground crying and Jane sitting on the dog just all brave so we called it the boob and the brave and then she goes on your mother was so pretty and she looked like she didn't have a care in the world how in the world did she manage to split her time between all of those kids and a husband and how did she do all the work that is required? Such uh, such a beautiful song. I can't remember what whoops, can't remember what song it was, but uh, it's a good question. She she didn't have an indoor bathroom, and uh, my dad was gone a lot working and work working at the steel plant and working on out farm. on the farm. You know, feeding all the animals and everything, and planting and all that stuff that you got to do. But she was a hard worker, and she smiled a lot, and it does look like she doesn't have a care in the world, but but uh, uh, she was just a very kind, loving, gentle person, and um, <clears throat> so she, I don't know how she managed, she didn't have any time for herself, I guess, she, she didn't go on Sister's Day like we do. <laughs> okay, do you want to read the next one, hon? Oh, Donna Conrad, many videos ago, you were visiting your sister, I think, and you and her and her family were sitting around the table eating soup. I think it was a bean-based soup or some type of Mexican soup, and I, I recall what it was, and it was, um, let's see, and I, I know what she's talking about, and your niece approached the, te the table, and you and your sisters gave her some. A typical kid's response was they did not like it. She didn't want to even taste it. Who, and, who didn't? Uh, uh, it, it was one of Brad's kids or one, oh. of, yeah, one of Brad's kids. And that's how our kids were. It, and the, the, it's called tamale pie. And me and Joe love it, but our kids never would eat it. Well, I they, don't like a lot of olives. In they, it. Yeah, I like the olives. But uh, Papa O lets me have the olives. Because when we were kids and my mom would make the tamale pie, we'd... We'd fight over the olives, and she'd divvy us out like two each, or we were lucky if we got one olive. And so now that I'm married, I can put all the olives in I want. And uh, <laughs> Papa, oh, let's be, sometimes I'll put two cans in, and Joe'll say, oh, that's too many olives. <laughs> and he'll say, you can have them. And I say, yes. So I eat all the olives. <laughs> but Joe's nice to let me have the olives. But I'll post the DIY on the on the tamale pie i think it's good it's but my kids would always say it looks like throw up and too much information <laughs> tmi <laughs> but i like it anyway okay uh debbie doobie okay i always check with papa to see okay, if i'm I, saying it right well i don't know how to pronounce things you do. You're the expert on pronunciation. Well, if, if it's close to some language that I know. Yeah, if it's a language he knows, but... Um, okay. No, all you, all you do to get it right in most languages, pronounce the vowels like they are in Spanish. A -E -O -U. You got that? A -E -I, -O -U. I thought it was A-E-I-O-U. A -E -I -O -U. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Debbie Doobie. I like that. It's fun to say. Mama O, do you all have special tires to drive in all that i live in georgia it's the snow oh. um i live in georgia and that snow would have had all georgia at a standstill we slip and slide all over the roads lol okay, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead uh if it's pure snow years ago they used to have studs, studs in the tire little metal mm -hmm. things but they were ripped they kept it for i don't know five six years and then it would rip up the roads quicker 
uh, because people wouldn't. They were supposed to take them off in April or May, but a lot of people metal wouldn't studs, do right? it. Yeah, metal things in the tires. And they had a law to take them off, but people wouldn't do it, and it was ripping up the roads. Uh, snow tires are good, but now um, even sedans, family cars have four-wheel drive, and people in the West here, it's getting mm -hmm. very popular to to get a car with four-wheel drive, and that takes care of business. Yes. So if you have black ice, uh, there's not much of anything that can help mm. you. As you slide <laughs> all over the place. But uh, we just make sure the tread on the tires are good and it's not bald and you're fine. Or you do the four-wheel drive. Yeah. But it used to be we were supposed to trade those tires out and just don't get around to it. You well, know? they used to sell snow tires and regular tires and that was that was popular for a while but that's a lot of bothers changing into your snow tires so now that and then they switched to all season tires mm. which is a nice thick tread and it yeah would, it's kind of nice you don't have to switch the tires out you know because what if you switch them out and then a big snow star hit storm hits and that happens so you keep them on we've had snow in may we've you know snowstorm in may and as early as August yeah you know so all right uh, so that's that was a good question okay it it it, was, it is always fun when somebody from California or somewhere comes and has never seen snow and they're <laughs> so excited about it and uh, we do there are a lot of snow sports in the mountains so see the ski resorts lots of ski resorts within one hour's drive or less mm -hmm. and uh, but the people come up and they think it's so fun to touch snow and everything, make mm -hmm. a snowball. And uh, We only do snowballs or snowmen if the snow is just right, yeah. slightly melted. Certain and certain it, types of snowfalls. Yeah. You think, oh, yes, this is sometimes too wet or too dry. And if it's just right, then it makes really good snowballs or snowmen. So. Uh, the only people that don't like snow are the ones that have to drive in it. And there's mm -hmm. people slid off the road. There's lots of fender benders of people sliding into each other. And that is not very fun. That's not fun. Yeah, kids always love snow and go outside and play and <laughs> jump around. Okay, JD, a little bit of everything. Have you or Papa O ever had, had a time in your life where you questioned your religion? Mm, good one. I'll let you start. Uh... My father was Catholic, and my mother was Mormon, and... Up in Canada. And I actually went to Catholic school when I was younger, and I think everybody has to be, we'll use the word, converted to their own way of belief. Mm -hmm. uh, and everybody, everybody has some doubts, but uh, I, since a small child, I've always believed in our church. And it got stronger as I grew older. That's all mm -hmm. I can say. Did you ever question it? No, never, never, never. He, there was a time when he was mad that he didn't get to marry the girl. Oh, no, that's nothing to do with the religion. Yeah, it's nothing to do with religion. That's frustration. Right? Yeah, frustration, and yeah. and but he he still believed believed in in his religion, and that's what's kept you strong. And uh, he had a grandmother that kept him firm in his beliefs and stuff and knew what to hold on to and when to pray you know to always pray and uh but and and for me um I, I don't know sometimes it's like a roller coaster when you when you have trials you kind of doubt you think well where's God and when things are going going well you think oh everything's going fine yeah I don't need to question but that's when your faith is put to a test is when there are trials and you think, wow, am I going to make it through this? Or is there a God? Or, or does anybody care? And and that's when you're put to the test. You see, well, I will still pray. I will still uh, obey the commandments. I'll still do what I'm supposed to do because I still believe. And um, I remember one of, my, uh, one of my cousins or something, she said, well, why doesn't God... Uh, just help everybody. Why? Why can't he just save everybody? Why is there awfulness in the world? And said, "Well, God's bound to free agency too. If he, if he didn't obey the rules, he wouldn't be God." And so we have to know that we have to go through trials. That's just what life is. And 
uh, no matter what faith you are, what religion you are, that's where your faith stands firm and you, you, you stick with your beliefs and know that God is there and that He allows us to go through our trials because how else are we going to grow? There is no other way. Um, like, like the child that's walking, learning how to walk. Uh, the mother doesn't run over and pick the child up when he falls. She allows him to keep falling, keep falling, because how is um, he going to learn how to walk? Yes, he's really screaming. Daniel. Then you know he got hurt, but that's usually not how it is. <laughs> you know, sometimes they get hurt really bad, but then you got to go pick them up. And God does that with us, too. He knows when we can't stand anymore, then he picks us up and carries us. So, but that was a good question. We have time for one more. Yes. Yeah, okay, one more. Bonnie Barber, Mama O, what did you guys, uh, what did you guys do when you found out that the repair guy had sold it? Oh, this we had talked about. Davy had a remote control car. Remember, remember that? that? Yeah. And we, our rule when our kids are growing up is if they want something, they've got to save up and buy for it. We don't buy it for them. We provide you know, food and housing, but if they want stuff, they've got to buy it themselves. So Davey bought this car. Oh, but we always, we always had more than one way for him to earn money. Uh, pay, paper routes. Mm -hmm. Paper routes. And it would be things they do in the home here. We did darts for these survival magazines where they... You blow it through the well, Yeah, and they assembled the darts yeah. and everything. And, yeah, we didn't pay them for doing the chores. That's just part of it. But um, my Mama O book, it, uh, Mom, I'm Home book, tells more about how we'd raise our kids. But anyway, Davy had bought this this uh, remote control car, and it wasn't working. And so we took it into the repair shop and said, Davy, you got to pay for the repairs. Uh, um, and it was like oh, 50 60 70 dollars something like that. And so Davy says, I'll pay five a month. And so it had been in there about two months. So did they keep it while they're... Yeah, they keep it while they repair it, while they're waiting for it. We were, we'd go in and made the $5 payment, and then another $5 payment, or 10 It was probably a $10 payment. And uh, and the third time we went in to make a payment, the guy goes, oh, it's it's gone. And we go, what do you mean it's gone? He says, "I, uh, your car's gone. I sold it. And he says, you can't sell our car. We, uh, we were just so mad. And... And uh, when the, the when the company the boss guy found out about it, of course we let him know, because poor Davy, the little fellers, I think he's about ten at the time, and um, uh, we told the lead guy, and he gave us a new car. Davy was pretty excited about that, and that they fired the other guy, and uh, I just can't believe he sold it. We we just could not believe that he would sell. So well, you were making payments. I said, well, I'm allowing my son to make the payments because it's his car. He needs to learn how to do it. So. <laughs> so but that that was a, a good question. So but we'll end with a quote here. Um let's get some quotes. Uh do you wanna read one? Okay. And then I'll do one. Or we just do one. I like this one. People don't buy for logical reasons, they buy for emotional reasons. It's true. They just say, I want that. <laughs> you need it? No, but I want it. Yeah, I was like that. Uh, you just but then, I want now. a bigger, bigger screen. I just want a bigger screen. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Now, we're like little red-faced oh, kids. Oh, the new iPhone seven just eight <laughs> came, came out. I want it. I gotta have it. I don't need it. But yeah, I, we're little red-faced kids at, in the grocery store at the checkout stand. I want it. I want it. But we have to learn to control it. I was that way. I listened to Dave Ramsey, and he helped us get out. We're debt-free. It's just so nice. I'll read a second one. Okay, by, second one. This one's by Zig Ziglar also. People, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither <laughs> does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. <laughs> <laughs> so get your daily motivation and your daily bath. Well, on the farm, I bathed once a week. We had to fill up that little tin tub and... I didn't, you didn't have any body odor. Oh good, that's good. <laughs> Glad I didn't have any odor. Or <laughs> you would have run to the hills. You were too busy squirting each other off with water fights. Yeah, we did have water fights. We did have the ditch we'd jump into and a lot. And you had the creek swing on the rope. Yeah. And go into the creek. We had a lot of fun on the farm. We had a lot of work, but we had a lot of fun. A lot of pleasant memories there. And a, a kind, loving mother and a firm-handed daddy.
that's how we turn out good. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> we'll close it up. <laughs> Joe's kind of looking at me like, who have I married here? <laughs> okay, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And good night, everybody, and keep those questions coming. And down in oh. the corner, which corner is it now? This, this corner, over yeah. there. There's a little they can't see your hand. There's a little red, there you go, little right red there. thing down in the corner. Right there. Oh, I see how this works. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Now you can go to bed.